So what has been central for me in engaging in researching the Walking Neighbourhood Project has been about you know, children having rights and being active participants in society. So in the whole, this whole project, Walking Neighbourhood, the children very much had choice. It was, they chose where the walk that they created went to. And that choice came from their own explorations of the urban spaces. And those choices, you know, were, you know, there's some negotiation with the parameters because these walks are publicly performed and, you know, the children take unknown adults, so people come along as an audience to go along these walks. And so there were obviously parameters about how to orchestrate that with you know, a public audience. And the artists would work with the children in developing you know, where their walk went. So the choice, you know, they could verbalise their, where they want to go and the artist may come back and say, well, what about, you know, this may happen. There's limitations that say you want to go to the video shop. And the video shop says, well, that's actually our peak time. Um, or could you just, um, use this space so that we can still be running our, our business. And so, you know, having to be aware that you can't just get exactly what you want all the time. That's a really important lesson to learn in life as well, about this negotiation of our choices. And the, the children, in terms of their voice, that's about, you know, children articulating their opinions, their ideas. And the way the project worked is that the, what was really central was very much honouring the children's ideas. I think my experience in schools is that it's the teacher's ideas that dominate the space. And so, and how they orchestrated that was like at the beginning of each workshop in developing the walks, that the children and the artists would sit in a circle and just check in, you know, share where they were at at that, that point in time. Um, a concern about their idea, or you know, a new, you know, something new that they wanted to bring to the space. And the same at the end of the workshop, they would always gather as a group in a whole circle. I very much see that the young people and the artists were co-learners in this project. And this was really key to how the project was orchestrated. So the practice of the artists, their pedagogy is very different to what teachers typically do. And yeah, I have a strong appreciation for this practice. So, you know, I already have just explained that practice of you know, sitting at the, as a group at the start of each workshop and at the end. And, you know, so that's a practice to you know, engage with everyone as an equal and give everyone equal space. Overall, their practice is very much about um, being responsive and intuitive to the children's interests. And, and what the concerns and what they're wanting to do. And so it's very much about aligning and, and being in tune with the children. And your yeah, artists seem to have a greater propensity for this because they do work in a, a very deeply sensory space. And so by being aware of their own senses, they can also have that capacity to be aware of others' senses and others' um, explorations, because you know, artists kind of work with matter and and play around with it in different ways, and they will so they will also pick up on others and how they play around with things in different ways, and so yeah, it's really this lovely. It's very much about getting in tune with each other and being responsive, and and yeah, that being intuitive and supporting the, the inquiry along the way. And you know, through that, it is a co-learning process. Both the, the young people and the artists are, are completely learning all the way along the way. And it does you know, put you side by side. I think, yeah, typically in a classroom, yeah, there is this hierarchy that the teacher knows all. But um, in this co-learning practice, it's about being yeah, side by side. And, and I believe and have noticed through my years of experience that that does really open up the opportunity for some much deeper, rich learning that these children recognise 
and it resonates with them and they carry with them for the rest of their lives so much more than the surface just regurgitating knowledge.